Welcome back to the Bahamas Tonight Weekend Edition. Starting September 3rd, security at our public schools will be beefed up as the Ministry of Education reintroduces its school-based policing initiative. This partnership between the Ministry of National Security comes after education officials realized that a number of homicides, fights, and other violent crimes committed by students has increased on public school campuses in recent years. Education Minister the Honorable Jerome Fitzgerald says a school-based policing program will be implemented on every public school campus in the country. Additionally, he says everyone directly involved, including teachers and principals, will receive the necessary training. In preparation for the implementation of this initiative, a training workshop will be held next week at the Police Conference Center for two days. The school administrators will be invited to meet with the divisional commanders and officers with responsibility for their schools. The participants of this workshop will include administrators, school-based police officers, guidance counselors, attendance officers, security officers, school psychologists, and other partners within the educational system. Now, while a number of Bahamians oppose the idea of police intelligence in our public schools, Commissioner Police Allison Greenslade says he welcomes the idea as generations have changed. Mr. Greenslade says to take a zero-tolerance approach to crime and to keep students and teachers safe, every police officer will play a vital role in the school policing initiative. We have selected distinct officers who will be assigned to each school on a daily basis. Some schools will have three, some will have more than three, uh, some schools might have two. It depends on, on the particular school. However, every single police officer is going to be attuned to what is happening come the opening of school. Hundreds of youngsters assembled at the Pinewood Park this afternoon to participate in the Police Reserves and Urban Renewal Program's Joint Back to the Community in Initiative. The youngsters got the opportunity to meet the police officers and have a little bit of fun. Reserve Superintendent Leslie Brown and Pinewood Urban Renewal's Inspector Virgil Santos believe these events have truly enhanced community spirit. They accept the police officer in this area uh, they, with their hand open. Uh, they was very happy when we got on the scene this morning. Uh, they came to us and they say they asked us what was our purpose to be here this morning, and we said to them that we are here to make your day a beautiful day, and we did that. Since with the urban and you were coming into Pineville Gardens, the persons here they were excited. We were able to connect, uh, especially with the youths and the elderly in the community, and with the connection that we would have bridged with them, it gave the community a better uh, insight on how the police is operating and how and what Urban Renewal is supposed to do for them based on the agenda. Area Member of Parliament Kayla's role welcomes the community initiative. Uh, thrust to beginning to bring the community back together. Uh, when you see the amount of people that's out here today and everybody enjoying themselves, no one's getting in trouble. This is how we get our country back. 